Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Janice and I'm a Thermomix consultant. Um, so today I thought I would show you what I'm doing. Um, I'm just testing out a recipe. A friend of mine and I, we went, it was actually to a, a gathering after a funeral and we ate these sandwiches and they were curried egg sandwiches made, or they were egg sandwiches made with curry bread. So um, she's made it a few times, um, the, the curry bread, just by adding curry powder to the bread mix. So that's what I'm doing today because I'm looking at um, a cob loaf. Um, today I'm just testing the bread. I want to see um, if I just add the tablespoon of curry powder, what it's going to taste like. Um, and if it needs anything else, like, you know, maybe a bit of garlic powder or something, I don't know, but I'm just going to do the curry powder straight up. But I was thinking later on down the track is if I can get this recipe um, to work of doing a cob loaf with, um, you know, like chicken and corn and bacon cob loaf. And I thought that would be really nice with a, a curry bread if it can get a really good flavour. So I thought I would show you what I'm doing. Um, we'll make the bread together and then I'll taste it. So... So let's start cooking. I'm just going to go into my recently cooked because I have already made bread today. Um, and I'm just going to use my regular bread recipe, which is the basic bread that comes out of the, uh, the basic cookbook. Um, this one, you can either make it as a whole white flour or you can use wheat grains. Um, so 100 grams of wheat grains and mill that up into flour and then add that with the white flour when you get to that stage. So um, if you don't do that, then you just add all white flour right here. So we're gonna go start cooking, if that made sense. It made sense in my head. So we're gonna skip where we mill the 100 grams of whole wheat. And then it says transfer. Okay, and now we're gonna keep going. So this is, this is my bread dough that I go to when I'm um, testing anything. This is my stage one because it's a very simple bread dough and it's always delicious. So it starts off with water. Oops, a bit much. 316 grams, we might tip a little bit out. instant yeast or fresh yeast. I'm just tipping it down the side here so it's not just sitting on top of my blades not getting wet. And now we're going to um, just activate the yeast. And two minutes, 37 degrees speed one. Right here. And I'll be back in a minute. Okay, and now we're going to add um, olive oil. Very good. And now it says to add 400 to 420 grams of baker's flour, a teaspoon of salt, and then the reserved wheat flour. So we'll just go back here, we'll add in. So we're going to add 500 grams of um, white bread flour. going to add, this is, this is me, I'm going to add two teaspoons 
of the spread improver. Um, it tends to give it a little bit more um, shelf life and um, just gives the, the yeast a little extra help. I mean, if, you, if, you were, if you're looking at being more using less additives than that, then you can leave this out because it's not actually in the recipe. So what's this contain? This says, contains wheat flour emulsifier, emulsifier, malt flour, inactive dry yeast, ascorbic acid, and enzyme. So I just really do like it in my bread. So a teaspoon of salt. wheat flour and now we're going to mix it for six seconds then keeping we're going to keep the lid on I'm going to take the lid off and you know what I didn't do I didn't add the curry powder right here that's okay. We can do it now. We're going to need it anyway. So I'm, I'm going to start off with a tablespoon of curry powder. So this is a mild curry powder. And this is a half tablespoon measure. Oh yeah. slide board don't step away stay close um, because it does move around and and it can end up on the floor so I will be back um, when we're ready to tip this out okay. only a couple of seconds to go right. and now it says to transfer onto a silicon bread mat um, or a floured work surface work into a ball. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty that is. Mmm, that smells yum. Okay. Just tips out. So I, I love curry, anything. I am very, very, very partial to a nice curry. Um, so I can't wait to try this. Now yeah. I'll just pop the bowl back together. bread mat or place in a bowl and cover with thing and then leave it to rest in a warm place until doubles inside approximately 30 minutes so this is um, it's actually a bit rainy outside it's a little bit cool 
So um, we'll just see, it might take a little bit longer than that to rise. So I'll be back when it's doubled in size. Okay, so we had, um, I had to duck out unexpectedly. So this is our, it's, it's probably been rising for about an hour. So, um, yep, we'll just see how we go. I can't, I don't think that'll be a problem um, with the overproving, because we're gonna knock it down and then um, it's going to go into the bread tin, oh yeah, to rise again. So we'll put some flour down, because that is um, a sticky dough. So it does depend on the weather, on the, um, the bread flour and everything, um, how, you know, like how moist or how, hydrated your dough is so it's not something so sometimes you add you need to add a bit more flour sometimes you need to add a bit less um but yeah this is okay i mean i just you just need it with a bit more flour okay so i've got I'll just break it up into three pieces now what i've got here is my um the, my square bread tin I've got from the mix shop. So with this, um, I don't grease it with oil. I only grease it with butter because I find that that is definitely the best. I mean, I don't wash it up in the sink, but I do give it a rinse out with um, some mild, you know, a bit of warm soapy water and a soft cloth. And that keeps it um, nice and clean and if it does get a bit wet, I make sure I dry it really well. So what I'm going to do is I break it up into three. A bit more flour. And then I just... And this, I don't know the reason for doing this, but what I find is it gives you a... a more even loaf, like it's the same all the way through you haven't got um a big fat middle and and skinny ends so if that makes sense oh yeah i'll show you this so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover this I'm going to wrap this in my thermo mat and I am going to pop it in a warm place to um, finish rising, to rise again. And then I'll come back and I'll show you um, how I put the lid on. So rightio, I'll be back when this is finished rising. Rightio, so that's, I've left that to rise. I've preheated the oven. And now, as you can see, I've let this get a bit high. Now, I can pop it in the oven and just bake it like that, but I want to do it with the lid on because I want a square loaf. So I'm just going to... This is a lot higher than I usually let it get. I usually only just let it start to peak up over the top. But I find if I just give it a little pat, it deflates enough that I can fit the lid on. So this is the lid, and we see we've got a rolled lip here. And then that is the, it's rolled under. So we're gonna put it with this edge on first. Right, okay, so that goes into um, the oven. I can't remember what temperature it is. I think it's 180 for 20 minutes. Um, and I'll come back when, I'm, when we've got it out and we're ready to slice it. Right, yeah, okay? I'll be back. Um, so since I was uh, talking about the bread tin from the mix shop, I just thought I'd show you this. So we've cooked it. Um, I've checked it. I was happy with how it was cooked. Um, I've left it sit in the tin with the lid on for five minutes. And now we are going to turn it out. So you take the lid off and it should just slide right out. Let's see. Okay, hang on. Proof is in the pudding. Ta-da. Beautiful. So now I just, um, I only leave it in there for five minutes, which is just enough time for it to release 
but not lose its nice crisp crust. If you leave it in there too long, it'll sweat a bit and you'll end up with a, a chewy crust. So anyway, I'll be back when we're ready to cut it and we'll give it a taste test. Okay, so this is our loaf of curry bread. I'm actually gonna make a sandwich, uh, an open sandwich for my, me for lunch. And I'm gonna eat the crust because that's my favorite bit. chicken here with a bit of mayo. beautiful curry flavour. I don't think I've put anything else in. I think that... Mm. I think the tablespoon of, of curry powder in that size loaf is absolutely perfect. I used a mole curry powder. Um, and I can taste all the different flavours in the curry powder. I mean, you can taste the garlic and all that. Mm, a bit of turmeric and that is that is absolutely delicious so my next step is to um, I'm gonna see if I can find or I'll make a I'm gonna use it the um, Christmas gathering where I'm taking a plate I'm going to make a cobbler with the curry bread and I'm gonna and I'm, I want to do chicken bacon and corn so I reckon that's going to be absolutely delicious in there. Right here. Yeah? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, could you please give it a thumbs up, um, pop over to my channel and subscribe, and I really hope I'll see you next time.